This video will cover questions regarding the topic of optimization problems, maximum con. Question 1. Here is the largest right circular cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius 6. Let's say x and y. x is between 0 and 6. By the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals 6 squared. Then we can rewrite as x squared equals 36 minus y squared. The volume of the cone is 1 over 3 times pi r squared h equals 1 over 3 pi times, now the radius r is x, then h is 6 plus y. Then we can rewrite as 1 over 3 pi times x squared equals 36 minus y squared times 6 plus y. Then expand pi over 3 times 216 plus 36y minus 6y squared minus y cubed. dv dy equals pi over 3 times 36 minus 12y minus 3y squared, then expand 12 minus 4y minus y squared. Then take out minus 1 on each term, minus pi times y squared plus 4y minus 12. Then factor y plus 6 times y minus 2. From here, x equals plus minus square root of 36 minus y squared. But x is positive. Then 36 minus y squared is greater than 0. Then times minus 1 on each side. y squared minus 36 is less than 0. Then we can factor y plus 6 times y minus 6 is less than 0. When the graph is like this, and 6 and minus 6, the graph is less than 0. That means this part, so y value is between 6 and minus 6. But now, y is the length, that means positive. So final answer is y is between 0 and 6. Back to the original. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0. So this one, minus pi times y plus 6 times y minus 2 equals 0. That means y equals minus 6 and 2. But y is between 0 and 6. This so one is rejected. Therefore, y equals 2. The number line is here between 0 and 6, dv dy. Number 2 is here. When the testing number is 1, from this one, v prime 1 equals minus pi times 1 plus 6, 1 minus 2 equals 7 pi which is positive. When the testing number is 3, v prime of 3 equals minus pi times 3 plus 6, 3 minus 2, which is minus 9 pi, is negative. dv dy changes from increasing to decreasing at y equals 2. Now we verify that y equals 2 gives an absolute maximum value of y. Use this one. v over 2 equals pi over 3 times 36 minus 2 squared times 6 plus 2 equals pi over 3 times 36 minus 4 is 32. Then 6 plus 2 is 8. 
Final answer is 256 pi over 3. The maximum volume is 256 pi over 3 cubic units. Question 2. Here is a cone made of this paper. The center of the original paper O is now the vertex of the cone. The radius is now the slant height of the cone, which is 3. Let's say R and H of the cone. Using the Pythagorean theorem, R squared plus H squared equals 3 squared. Then R squared equals 9 minus H squared. The volume of the cone is 3 equals 1 over 3 pi times r squared h equals pi over 3 times r squared equals 9 minus h squared then times h then expand pi over 3 times 9h minus h cubed. From here, r squared equals 9 minus h squared, then r equals plus minus the square root of 9 minus h squared, but r is the length, which is positive, then 9 minus h squared is positive, then times minus 1 on each side, h squared minus 9 is less than 0, then we can factor h plus 3 times h minus 3 is less than 0. Then the graph is 3 and minus 3 is less than 0, which means this part. So h is between minus 3 and 3. But h is also positive because the length. The final answer is h is between 0 and 3. Then back to the original, we prime of h equals, keep the constant, then 9 minus 3 h squared equals, expand, pi times 3 minus h squared. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0, this one. Pi times 3 minus h squared equals 0. That means h squared equals 3. Then h is plus minus the square root of 3. But finally, h equals the square root of 3 because h is between 0 and 3. From here, the number line between 0 and 3 we prime of h, that is the square root of 3. When the testing number is 1, we prime 1 equals, use this, pi times 3 minus 1 squared equals 2 pi, which is positive. When the testing number is 2, we prime 2 equals, pi times 3 minus 2 squared, which is minus pi, less than 0. We prime changes from increasing to decreasing at h equals square root of 3. Now we verify that h equals square root of 3 gives an absolute maximum value of v. Then use this v of square root of 3 equals pi over 3 times 9 times the square root of 3 minus square root of 3 cubed equals pi over 3 times 9 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3 equals pi over 3 times 6 square root of 3. So the maximum value is 2 square root of 3 pi cubic units. This is the last one. Here is a cone made by turning a right triangle once, let's say R and H. Using the Pythagorean theorem, R squared plus H squared equals 5 squared. 
then r squared equals 25 minus h squared. The volume of the cone is 1 over 3 pi times r squared h equals 1 over 3 pi times r squared equals 25 minus h squared then times h equals 1 over 3 pi then expand 25h minus h cubed. Then v prime of h equals pi over 3 times 25 minus 3h squared. And here h is positive but less than the hypotenuse so less than 5. Back to the original to find the critical numbers we equate the derivative to 0, then pi over 3 times 25 minus 3h squared equals 0, that means 3h squared equals 25, then divide by 3 on each side, h squared equals 25 over 3, then h is plus minus the square root of 25 over 3, you can rewrite as 5 over square root of 3, but h is only positive. Because of this one, between 0 and 5. And it's rounded 2.887. The number line is here, between 0 and 5, 5 over square root of 3, then v prime of h, when the testing number is 1, pi over 3 is always positive, so we check inside the bracket only. Then 25 minus 3 times 1 square equals 25 minus 3 equals 22, which is positive. When the testing number is 3, 25 minus 3 times 3 squared equals 25 minus 3 times 9 is 27 equals minus 2, which is negative. H prime changes from increasing to decreasing at h equals 5 over square root of 3. Now we verify that h equals 5 over square root of 3 gives an absolute maximum value of v. Use this. v of 5 over square root of 3 equals pi over 3 times 25 minus 5 over square root of 3 squared then times 5 over square root of 3 equals pi over 3 times 25 minus 25 over 3 times 5 over square root of 3 equals pi over 3 times make the single fraction so 75 minus 25 over 3 times 5 over square root of 3 equals pi over 3 times 50 over 3 times 5 over square root of 3 the final answer is 250 pi over 9 times square root of 3. So the maximum volume is 250 pi over 9 square root of 3 cubic units. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.